Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using my SQLite procedure how to insert selected radio button value into a remote database of PHP My Admin, which is my SQL Server. I am using Notepad++ for this example and in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML5 code with two input text box controls and two radio buttons, male and female, and one submit button. Before writing the PHP code to insert the values, let's save this file. We'll check the output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains two text boxes and two radio buttons. So let's switch back to the coding part. We'll write the PHP code in MySQLI method to insert the radio button values into my remote database. I'm back to the Notepad++. The first thing in the forum, I'm adding the method post. Above the doc type, I'm adding PHP code to connect a database. We need a configuration settings for that. I'm declaring a variable. It's host name is equals to which is local host. Dollar DB is equals to WPCHA DVF underscore Charan is my user database dollar username username dollar password is equals to password notice here in the username and password field i have declared the dummy ones just for the security reasons but at the time of uploading this file into my remote server i will change into the real credentials dollar con creating the connection variable i'm using my sqli underscore connect method which takes four parameters first parameter is a host name second one is a username and third one is a password and the last one is a database or die unable to connect database if is set dollar underscore post between single quotes I'm adding the button control name which is submit curly braces dollar first name underscore dollar underscore post and the first name I am adding the input type text box name which is F name dollar last name dollar underscore post last name dollar gender underscore post and in this I'm adding the input radio button name which is gender dollar sql query now in this query i am adding the insert statement before adding the insert statement let's log into my bluehost php my admin database we'll check the table name and the columns 
I just logged into my remote database of PHP my admin. I'm expanding the user databases. I'm expanding the user database underscore challenge. For this example, I'm using the table student record. Right now in this student record contents, five students with four columns, ID, first name, last name and gender. ID is the auto gendered column. Let's check the table structure also. And this is the table structure. Let's quickly switch back to the coding part. We'll write the statement to insert the values into this student record. I'm adding the insert statement. Insert into the table name is a student record. First name and capital. Last name. Gender values between single quotes. I'm adding these variables the second variable is last name if my SQL underscore query method takes two parameters one is the the connection string variable and the second one is the and the second one is the insert statement SQL query if record is inserted successfully echo record sale successfully as echo fail to insert the record that's it let's save this file we'll check the results on the browser i'm reloading the browser i'm entering the values first name mohit the last name is jk and he's a male insert values and see here we got record saved successfully I'm back to the database I'm refreshing the table see here we got a new record ID 6 first name Mohit JK mail that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos